Hi everybody, in this tutorial we will going to look at one of the transformation we need to know about which is rotation. We know that transformation in geometry is changing the size or position of the shapes. Rotation turns a shape around a fixed point called center of rotation. Okay, to rotate a the shape there are three pieces of information are required. First one is the center of rotation, which is the point that the shape will be swiveled around. Second one is the angle of rotation through which the shape will turn. And usually in the exam questions, the angle of rotation either be 90 degree or 180 degree. The third information is the direction of rotation. and might be clockwise, which is goes in that way or anti-clockwise, which is goes the other way. Beware that in case of 180 degree, it doesn't matter whether of it clockwise or anti-clockwise, and will be shown in the next example. Uh, as you see in this example, the triangle rotated in 90 degree clockwise around the center of rotation. This 90 degree can be suffixed as a quarter turn rotation. Now, the shape rotated in 180 degree, or half turn, about the center of rotation. Here I did not mention the direction of rotation like before, because in 180 degree, the new location of the shape will be the same for clockwise or anti-clockwise direction as you see. So, usually in exam questions, the direction of rotation might not be mentioned in half turn rotation. Finally, the 270 degree clockwise rotation. As you see, it's also 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation. And that is that. Now, let's move to the first question we have. In this question, we got two triangles in the grid. And the first thing asked to do is to describe fully the single transformation that maps A and to B. And to describe the rotation, we have to find first the center, the center of rotation. The center should be somewhere between the two shapes. And to find it, we will use a ruler and compass. Okay, here we go. Firstly, we'll connect any corresponding vertices. Let's say A and a dash with a line then find the perpendicular bisector of that line between the two points okay here we go this is our ruler we'll use it to connect the two points and i will use we should use the compass but in our case we will use this protractor it will to do the same work we need to find the perpendicular bisector for the line a a dash here we go i will connect these two intersecting points Okay, now this is the first perpendicular bisector for the line A, A dash. Now we'll do the, exactly the same between another corresponding vertices, let's say B and B dash. I will use a different color. Let's take the green one and we'll connect the two points. And then we'll do the same but with different size. And here I 
Oh, we missed that. So I come back again to light to the dash. And this is our intersecting point. And this is the other perpendicular bisector for BB dash. Now, where the two perpendicular bisectors meet is the center of rotation. And it's obvious that the center of rotation located in point 4 minus 2. It's important to know that the length between the center of rotation and corresponding vertices like A and A dash should be the same length. Also, if we check between C and center of rotation and C dash and center of rotation should be the same length as well. How far the shape rotated and in which direction from A to B? It's gone in that angle, which is 90 degree, and in this direction, anti clockwise, anti clockwise. Now we can write down the single transformation. Here it is rotation. And this is one mark. The center is 4 minus 2. And this is another mark. 90 degree anti and this is the third mark so as I mentioned earlier to describe the rotation we need these three things the center of rotation the angle of rotation and the direction of rotation now the second thing we ask to do is to rotate this triangle Angle A through 180 degree like this 180 degree about the center 3 0. Okay, before start solving the question, let's simulate the 180 degree rotation on the grid around the center of rotation in point 3 0 and see whether the direction of rotation will make any difference or not. Let's now start rotating the triangle ar around the center of rotation and 180 degree in clockwise direction. Sorry. This is the new location of our triangle in 180 degree clockwise direction. Now let's go back again and start moving or start rotating the triangle in anti-clockwise direction around the center of rotation 3.30. Now let's start. This is anti-clockwise and this is the 180 degree. Now the triangle in the same position as before. So, the first thing we are going to do is to mark the center of rotation on the grid in point 30. And now we will join the center to any corner on the shape. We'll start with the nearest one. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to rotate it in 180 degree. And this will be the equivalent corner. We will do the same thing with the other two corners. And this is the second one. I'll draw it now. And this is the equivalent corner to the second corner. And this will be the last one or third corner we have on the shape. Then we'll draw the same shape rotated. And that is that. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.